Hi family. Well, the journey continues about this book, Spy by Daniel Still. So, I haven't got the book. I'm actually getting the book on the 14th, which is like three days from now. So, the reason I'm actually posting this video is because I uh, promise to be consistent with uh, my videos and everything. So, I just want to uh, tell you further on this book because I got some few friends who actually hooked me up with what happens on the next pages and everything because they actually screenshotted the book because they've got the books and everything and all of that and some are actually inboxing me on my Facebook and everything just screenshotting the with book and everything so I'm even further than you think I am on the book because it's just that this book uh, this channel I did not start it so I can tell you word by word on the book and everything just to give you a preview on the book and everything so that you guys can actually go get it and buy it for yourselves and read it for yourselves before I spoil it for you so I'm actually going to do the summary again as I continue with the summary this time I'm going deeper uh, on the on the on the on the on the book than when I started with the introduction on the book by, by Daniel Steele Spa so uh, then Alexandra, as she was uh, supposed to go to war and volunteer as an ex, this time when she gets there, uh, her skills don't just, uh, they're caught uh, or they're identified by a group or an agent that is called MI6. So if anybody who actually watch crime movies and stories or read those kind of things and all that, they know what MI6 is. MI6 is like the British... Um, secret agent so this woman his skills are caught by those people so in this case you can understand why this book is actually called spy so i get to understand why this book is actually called spy and then this woman alexandra when she gets there she becomes this nurse and then when the mi6 approaches her she becomes a spy and then she goes to places like morocco madagascar and moscow all those things and then when she's doing all these things she has to keep her identity a secret she can't tell anybody she can't tell her family she can't tell her friends she can't tell her boyfriend or anything like that and where she gets married when she gets married she can't tell her husband either and then when she goes home now she starts wearing this red lipstick she's now wearing pants remember it's 1939 1939 nobody was expecting a woman to be you know dressed like that and all that whereas when at the time when she goes to volunteer for this war her family wanted her to remain at home so she can be they can find her a, a, a perfect husband and she can be a wife and uh, cook for her husband sit at home and wait for the news that the husband is dead or whatever or the war is over and all that but in this case Alexandra is not like that she's not the typical woman and all that and then she becomes the spy and then to her family wearing red lipstick there was still this taboo or this superstition and taboo about red lipstick like women wearing red lipstick that they are sluts or whoredom or represent whoredom or stuff like that and then when she wear pants it's like she wants to be a man she wants to uh, take over the world she wants to be all these and they're expecting her to be a woman but yeah now she wants to be what she wants to be she, she 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 wants to come out and be herself and not to be uh, labeled or identified by her uh, feminism or by her gender or whatever and we get to understand and um, she lives this double life and her family is not happy with her transition they think that now she's wearing red lipstick she's coming home wearing pants and all those things and she's caught up in this world where she's a spy and where she's saving people and people are dying on her watch and she can't say anything and she can't and sometimes this i think they, 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 they i'm not sure the kind of spy that she was whether she was a spy spying for classified information that is going to help with the war or anything like that but when i read further i'm actually going to find out what happens and everything and probably if you've read the book or if you bought the book or if you manage to have somebody who has the book and borrow it to you you already know um what kind of a spy she wants and all that but um i'm very interested in uh, how the story pans out and what happens with her because they from what i know in the movies that i've watched and series and everything uh when you are a spy and especially when you wave, work for the cia and all that you cannot um you cannot quit 
the only way to quit is to die. If you don't die, you change your identity, your name, your, 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 your what you were before. You are no longer. You you die. You you literally they literally kill you. You you are no longer that person anymore. So I want to know does that happen with her? Is she still Alexandra at the end of the book, or she becomes something else? Does she live? Does she die? And stuff like that. So let's just continue with the book. Whatever you're reading, just continue with it. It's fine. If you want to drop the book that you're reading and focus on this Daniel still of mine, um, spy of mine, you're welcome. If you feel that it will be too much for you, then it's okay. I don't. I, I, I'll never hold it against you as long as you're reading a book and all that. And those books that you're reading, please, 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 family, tell me about them so I can go get, buy them and then I can feature them on my channel and we can talk about the books and. Uh, what the book is all about and what it says and how like what the author was thinking and everything and until then just continue reading this book if you have actually read the book just uh, hit the comment down and tell me why you like the book or why you don't like the book because I also like looking at the reviews by critics uh, what they saying about the book and whether they like it or why they don't like it and there's a book that I actually feel like we can actually future it but I just don't know when I, I'm actually not uh, uh, saying that we're gonna do it anytime soon but if you stumble upon this book please read it so that when i actually feature it on this channel you, you already know what the book is all about the book is called my husband's secret yo hey my husband's secret and this uh, book the letter this woman she was supposed to, to actually find it or read it when the husband is dead but curiosity made her to actually read the letter before he dies and now she knows the secret that she was supposed to know when he's dead what happens and to marry couple or people who are in a relationship, do you think you can actually keep a secret that belongs to your spouse? The one that you were supposed to know only when he's dead or when she's dead. Would you or would you not? And now this woman is faced with the dilemma to tell or not to tell. And by the way, thank you so much and keep on subscribing. Love you family. And just know that every book you read is worth it. Not just the book that I'm featuring. So if there's a book that you have read and you loved it and you want me to feature it, hit the comment down and tell me to read it and all that and I will get it and I will try my best to get it and we can talk about it on our channel. Thank you family and the new subscribers. Thank you. Welcome to the family and love you guys. Adios.